Hey guys, just woke up, made a coffee and started to code some more on my SAS side project that I hope will get me out of the trenches and help me quit my 9 to 5. Our goal with the app is still to take it to about $10,000 in revenue per month and to document along the entire process. I really think this is possible as I saw similar businesses do even bigger numbers. In this video, I will prepare the launch of it on Product Hunt and show you all my strategies of marketing it. And if you'll stay to the end of the video, I will show you how much revenue we were able to make after all of this effort. Just in case you missed my last videos, I am trying to code up a cheaper and simpler alternative to Linktree. If we jump into the app, we can see quite a few new features I was able to ship recently. I made a quick demo on the landing page that I edited a bit using DaVinci, this way the users will have a sneak peek into the value they'll be getting even before they create an account with us. Also changed the pricing model and included a free plan with basic link in bio pages just to improve user acquisition and early adoption. Once a user creates the account, there are quite a few things he can do. Just in case you want to build a similar app yourself, you can access the optimized reusable SaaS code in the description down below. It's ready to copy and comes with detailed explanations that walk you through everything you need to get started. The guide covers the full setup, super base login and sign up with the database, Stripe checkout and subscriptions, a clean landing page you can easily modify and an overall scalable structure you can build on. It's all explained step by step so you're not starting from scratch. Lately more and more of you guys reach out to me and tell me how I helped you start making sales on software products in your free time and I am very proud of you. With a bit of guidance it really is not that hard to get your first sale, as spoiler alert we'll see later in this video. Back to our app, we got this toggle that switches between a mobile and a web view, the header section with all its basic info, in the page settings tab I refactored the UI as the options were a bit all over the place. My favorite new feature is the QR sharing of the page, because let's say you run into a potential client that wants to find your online presence, instead of having to copy the link link or write it down, he can just scan your phone and boom, he's on your links page. For this, I found an API that I call behind the scenes and it generates the code for that specific URL. I introduced more types of custom blocks and the big star here will be the analytics tab. Here a user can check out how often someone clicked his link and get additional data about them, from the operating system of their device to their location. Switching up to marketing, I started to post on different sites. Reddit. The problem I ran into was that my posts were instantly removed by Reddit's filters on newer accounts. I also found this website containing a list of subreddits you can post on when trying to bring your first clients on board. Hacker News is another place where a lot of potential users can be found. And finally, X. There is a big community built around vibe coding and building apps in public, in hopes that along the way, by gathering a following, some of them will convert into to actual paying customers. The final method I found to increase visibility of my application besides paid ads was using launching platforms, out of which Product Hunt is probably the biggest and has the most solid audience. So I scheduled my SaaS to launch there as well as on Tiny Launch. Now we'll just have to wait on the results. If we manage to go viral, this can turn into quite a boost for our user base. Now a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Test Pride. If you're building a SaaS like this, testing is one of those things that's easy to overlook but can quickly become a bottleneck. Test Sprite's MCP server lets you plug automated testing directly into your development workflow, so you can validate features, APIs and user flows without setting up a complex testing infrastructure yourself. Their starter plan is perfect for solo founders and small teams, it's easy to get started with affordable and helps you catch issues early before users do. If you want to ship faster with more confidence, definitely check out Test Sprite using the first link in the description down below. Now before ending the video, let's check out Stripe in order to see how many conversions we were able to make. So there were about 12, which even though are not a lot, bring me to about $40 in recurring revenue per month, assuming none of the current users turn the next month. This will honestly be enough 
to keep me going and ship even more features that the users will ask for. This was about it for the video, don't forget to comment something down below if you made it this far, and until next time, happy coding!